Okay, welcome back to Chucks' channel. I'm going back to doing a bit of battery stuff. At the moment, I need a power supply. So I've got this um, computer power supply inverter sitting around. Now, it's probably not going to be the best one because it's probably 1980s type stuff. But it has got one power point off it now I've got a couple other ones I've got two to four power points off it so I might change and use a different power pack but all you have to do is hook it up off there now I've come across these which are 3s boards I'm hoping that they will be able to take that so about 25 amps so you know 12 by 25 amps um, the math is pretty simple but um, what's that equal We'll just work it out real quick. My brain is not working for me today, so I just go 12 times 25 amps equals about 300 watts, so that's not very much at all, really. Um, and not sure how long with this amount of batteries because these are rated around about, I don't know, they're second hand, around about uh, 270, uh, well, 2.7 amps. So you're getting 2.7 amps out of each battery, but they're all in series, so 2.7 times 12. I think I worked it out wrong before. that 32.4 watts per per line and you've got eight lines so you're going to have to times that by eight so it's around about 259.2 watts so not sure how long this would last because I haven't done the sums on that either and a quick look at the tops of these but yeah my first pack. I was going to get on uh, Second Life and have a quick look what people are doing there to do this. I've just popped this on top of here, like um, so. I'm just sh shuffle them around till I get it right, and I'll have to take the ends off. I might even put it under there, leave one out, but. I'm hoping to fit this into this pack into this area here which looks like it will fit just if I cut it all off and clean it up. I would have liked to have come out this way a bit and had another lot of cells sitting in there so if I could have put another three cellars in there it would have been awesome uh, but I can't so anyway we'll keep working on it. Yeah, so...
positive there. B1 connected underneath, so it tests your negative to B1. B2 is tested over here, pos. And I'd say B1 to B2 in between there is testing in the centre. Okay, there was a bit of um, of a miss. I think the uh, phone turned off, so I missed a little bit of hot glue used an Audi hot glue gun to glue this to the board. Now, there's your negative rail there. Now, stuffed up, I, I welded it up the wrong end, but that's okay. You can just cut it off and put it on the other end. So all I'm going to do is turn my welder back on and uh, arc it up and connect to there so this little tab here should be able to hook onto there and just I'll just make it the right length and bend it onto there and that's all you have to do pretty much then you just attach the tabs from there to there other tab from here to here other tab from here to here and if you look on the back of these boards, it actually tells you what the voltages should be. Um, should be... Anyway, it's not a big deal at the moment. Just make sure that when you've, you've made the board up, 
you test it and check that you've got your 12 volts sitting there from the positive to the negative rail and that should be all you have to do at the moment so I'll get on with it and we'll see how we go <laughs> Probably not the perfect way to do it, but it worked. I'm going to solder on later. And I'll solder one onto there as well. One onto there, there. So that should uh, give me my final bits. And those two don't have to be anything spectacular. So let's have a look. So we've got B1 and B2 left. So all I'm going to do, there is a test point right here. Let's, uh, let's clean this up. I don't throw all my, my leftover tinning out of the uh, box away. I think it's a bit of waste. There like that. I don't need this bit here. It's hard. The box is a bit big. Still get it done. Well, I'm thinking I'm going to have to solder that. It's too, I'm just going to solder the other ones. Too much fucking around. So don't do what I just did. It didn't work very well. This here, the lifting, so it's going to have to have another hit on it. it should stop it from moving anywhere check the other side looking pretty good there okay If you're a kid, don't be caught doing this stuff, what I'm doing. Get your parent to give you a hand. Okay, that's it for that. Then I'm going to bring you over and do a bit of welding. Well, soldering, I mean. So, switch on the soldering iron. Get rid of that. Handy little tool that 
homemade um, spot welder. So now we're just going to solder this on to there. We'll get a bit of solder and get into it. Now I like to tin both sides to get it nice and easy to put down. I usually use a pair of uh, tweezers to do this. But if I don't have tweezers, this will do the job. The whole plate just picked up there. And I think I just got it with a bit more solder. Should be good. Hopefully. <sighs> Reckon that works. Now I see what it's um some people spot well these. I'll check it anyway. I'm going to check this. It's falling down there. I'll go and get a multimeter and we'll see what goes on. Okay, this is a pack. So first we check the positive to negative and it's reading 12.4 and if you check the middle ones, you should get a voltage of about 12.42 as well. So going off the negative side, you check this one, should be about eight volts something, 8.248, and the other one is 4.15. So that's pretty good. That'll need a charge, because um, after it's been shocked and that, I'd say it needs a little bit of a charge. So that, is now working and it's completely now all I have to do is use some of that um, tape yellow tape from China and wrap it all up maybe even put a bit of cardboard either side if you feel like doing that just to keep it uh, from if it's inside something from shorting out so I have to get some small cardboard and use that and other than that it's a completed job other than putting two wires off there and putting a um, quadcopter connector on it so you can use that or I might put some leads on it I'm going to decide later on that um, this is it for for making a pack making a 12 volt 3s pack now the only difference between this one and the uh, 4s is an extra tab for another row that has to be connected. You probably have to use a wire. So yeah, that's about it. So good luck.